Has this ever happened to you where you spent hours on a video, slaving over it? I'm doing it! Yeah! Crafting it to perfection. Some of these, and some of these. Almost there! And then when you play it back... Done. Now let's see how it looks so far. It's shit. You thought you were painting Mona Lisa and you end up with like some deviant art furry art. <laughs> Don't worry, man, because in this video, I'm going to teach you seven editing tr uh -huh. seven editing tricks that top YouTubers like me use. <clears throat> Under 20 million views on YouTube. To make videos kind of pretty good so that it gets watched and people like it. And stick around till the end and because the last tip will blow your mind. Your mind? It's gonna be blown. When you finish watching this video, you're gonna learn how to fly. So, you curious about how you're gonna learn how to fly? Well, watch this video. All right, let's get to the first tip. Now, have you ever done an animation and it's just a bit like, eh? I mean, it's all right. But do you wanna take your animation to a whole nother level? Well, what if I told you by just clicking two simple buttons, you could do that. So here we have a slide animation. Now it just looks a bit stiff and unrealistic because in real life, you don't move just at the same speed. Like let's say you wanted to sprint from A to B. How you would do it would be to start off a bit slow, speed up, and as you get to your destination, you would slow down a bit. So could we replicate this effect in Premiere Pro so that our videos look better? Of course we can, man. I mean, we're going to Mars, we got jetpacks and shit. Why not? Of course we can. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the keyframes of the animation, select both of them, right click it, go to Temple Interpolation, and then choose Ease In, and then we're gonna choose them again and add an Ease Out effect. And then boom! Our animation now looks 69 times better. No need to thank me. All right, next one. Have you ever looked at some footage that you've recorded on your camera and you were like, it's shit. But wait, what if you could make it 69 times better? Well, now you can. With the power of color, correction. Just press some random buttons and whoa, bam! Your video now looks super cool and not like shit. So if you want your video to look not shit, let me explain exactly how to do color correction. Now on Premiere Pro, go to Window and then click on Lumetri Color. And if you don't know anything about color correction, there will be a button labeled Auto. So if you just click it, it's automatically gonna do color correction for you. You don't even need to do anything else. But if you wanna do it yourself, here is how. In the basic correction panel, you can adjust the temperature to make your video kind of blue or orangish. Tint makes it purple or green, like matrixy. Saturation will make colors pop more or mute them. Exposure will make your video brighter, but it is different from brightness. As you can see, brightness will only make your video wider, while exposure will actually make your video brighter. Contrast enhances the image and makes shadows more visible and highlights adjust the brightness of your image while shadows control the brightness of the darker areas. Blacks are kind of same with shadows but they modify the darkest parts and whites adjust the brightest parts of the video. Now if this is all confusing that's okay. What I do is I just play with the settings till I get something that I like and it just takes a bit of time to get used to but don't worry you got this and I believe in you. And also if you want your videos to look more stylized you can add a vignette which is basically these black corners you see in this video right now. Go to vignette here and turn the amount down and if you play with the feather a bit you'll get the results that you want. Look at this bro. Beautiful nature. Look at the trees. Amazing. Anyway, the other tip that I would give you is that editing is really brain intensive. So just go out into the nature a bit, edit for like three hours, four hours, and then just clear your mind, go for a walk. And oh my God, is, is that an alien invasion? Whoa, sir, 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 you've just invaded Earth. Bro, what are you talking about, man? What do you have to say? Oh, Earthlings, we have a message from aliens. From Planet Alien. Do you want to become a better editor? Do you want to start making money from video editing? Do you want to know how you can do that? Well, Chad Editor has just released his premier new to pro course where he teaches you everything you need to know about editing your YouTube videos. Learn how to make a YouTube video from start to finish with one and a half hours of educational content. The price for this course is normally $35. Well, for the next 31 days, it's only $1 to help you with your journey and become a better editor. 
So click the link in the description to buy now. Not only will you get the best course on how to edit, you will also be supporting the channel so we can make videos. Good boy. Have you ever wanted to do video transitions but never knew how? Well, that's all right because you don't have to know because with this free software, it will do everything for you. You can do transitions like this or this or this or this all for free and with one click of a button. So this is an extension for Premiere Pro called Mr. Horse and it has a free version. So you just have to install it and after you install it, go to transitions and drag it on the timeline like this and boom, you know, instant transitions. Whoa. Next tip. Now we don't just use our eyes to watch videos. We use something else. On the English language, this is called an ear. You probably have two of them unless you're like some crazy painter. And basically when you cut a video, it might have some choppy audio that sounds like this. There's no one here. Unguarded coconut museum. What if they steal the coconut? That was your mom last night. It really annoys us and doesn't sound good, but the fix for it is pretty easy. If you have the 2024 version of Premiere Pro, you just have to drag this box and boom, it will add a fade in with previous audio. So it will just sound better for our ears. There's no one here. Unguarded coconut museum. What if they steal the coconut? That was your mom last night it adds like a fade in effect so it doesn't sound choppy but if you have an older version you can just use the sound effect from the effects pack called constant power drag him on the end well bam no one here unguarded coconut museum what if they steal the coconut that was your mom last night your audio sounds 69 times better speaking of audio have you noticed that the alien invasion had some sound effects here's it without it oh my god is, th is that an alien invasion whoa And did you know that videos with sound effects get 69 times more retention? And if you don't believe me, here's a study that's been done on sound effects and how much it increases retention. And you know, no one on the internet ever lied. So, you know, it's basically a study. Same thing. For example, you can add a whoosh to like karate chops. You could use it for slides. You could use it for transitions. And here's a pop sound effect. You can use a click sound effect when text pops up on screen. And you can do Foley stuff for the things happen in a video. That is for another video so subscribe and you'll know when that video is out now you might be wondering oh where can i get sound effects from well that's easy you can just download them free from youtube for example if i want a chair sound effect i just saw a chair on youtube and boom there's like a chair sound effect All right, next one. Have you ever wanted to like put a cool graphic in your video, but don't know how? You don't really have to know how, man. You can use pre-made presets that are called Mogurts, which are like After Effects files inside of Premiere Pro. And all you have to do is download a Mogurt file that someone that is good with After Effects, unlike you, has done, and then drag it on your timeline, and boom, now you're animating. Now your video quality has increased by 69%. Now I use Envato Elements for my editing presets and assets. This is a paid website so if you want a free alternative you can go to the link that i will link in the description all right here's another retention increase in hack it's called caption go to window then pick text then click on create captions from transcript i choose 20 here and then pick single here click on transcribe and create captions and what bam and just adjust some settings click this button here to apply to all the other text and boom after you have your captions select them go to graphics and titles click Click on convert caption to graphic. This will convert your captions to graphics, which will allow you to add animations onto them. And I will drag on my stretch text preset and boom, there we go. Now you can only get my presets along with my course. So check it out in the description if you want. That's the end of the video. And now you know exactly how to add 69 times better. But do you know how to edit 69 times faster? I have made a video on it telling you exactly how to edit 69 times faster. So go check it out and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Peace.